Hello everybody, I'm Soulspawn, and this is the first episode of my single player series, Soul Lands. Nice Minecraft survival gameplay, let's play, whatever the heck you want to call it. That's what this is. Anyway, we've just spawned here. We're here. New world. Brand new world. Don't have anything in my inventory. It's great. It's always kind of a good feeling, starting a new world kind of thing. But I'm also excited for keeping this going, you know? It's going to be great. I want to keep this going. Be the the nice uh, thing that not only I, but you can work on as well while watching me. Anyway, we're here. I'm just taking a look around this place. I think this is an island. That would be great if it's an island. Is it a smaller island out there? Okay. Neat. Is that a mushroom biome? Dude. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. That is great. Okay. I like this spawn. This is a great spawn. So there's a mushroom biome right there right off the bat. It looks like a rather large one too. Like I'm going to I'm going to make this one my uh my home. But having the mushrooms there, that's great. Not only is it, uh, you know, mushroom biomes are on the rarer side, so that's cool to have right, just like that. But, uh, yeah, lots of potential. Like, we could do some stuff over there. There's a diamond in there. Nice. Come on. There we go. Buried treasure map. I don't think it's got his, uh, its things on it yet. Oh, we're not even close to any treasure. That sucks. I've had this happen before. I'm wondering if this will uh, do its thing if I go near treasure. But it is what it is. We got some protection four pants there as well that's great got some moss got some tnt but we got ourselves a diamond and some potatoes so that's great all right it is getting dark though so i'm kind of like uh, i don't want to say worried but oh we got what we need for shears so that's great we literally just need to find a sheep now literally just need a sheep from this point on, I essentially just explored for like an hour or so. I needed to find materials for the things I wanted to build and I wasn't finding them on the island because the island is very limited in what it can offer me in terms of building materials. So that's what I did. I went out, gathered materials, explored, found some things. It was great. So I've been kind of doing a little bit of uh, grindy work here. I've got some trees, like I cleared this out, and then I planted the trees that I want to use. So I've got some acacia going. We've got, uh, this is like the third big spruce tree that I've got going. Obviously I got some like normal oak wood and stuff. I've also made my branch mine down there. It's not really a branch mine yet, but it's the start of one. So that goes all the way down to bedrock. That's gonna be mainly to get uh, deep slate and diamonds and redstone, of course. Redstone's down there too. Those are the important things. I'm, uh, I've kind of got a plan now for like a starter base. At the very least, <clears throat> we're gonna put something right here. Obviously it's kind of like brought in a bit. That's gonna be like the entrance to the mine, obviously. Um, pop it out a bit, you know, kind of make something that maybe goes straight up to the top. That'd be cool. But eventually I kind of want this to start curling around and like popping out on different sides of this little mountain thing here. This uh, land spike, I'll just call it. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a land spike. Yeah, that's the plan so far. I was thinking about what I want to do with this island as well. I think it'd be really cool to get a bunch of villagers over here and just have like, a, like build like a nice big custom village. And then that'll kind of be the, the top half of whatchamacallit, my uh, base here kind of thing. Like, this will be like the starter part of it, <clears throat> kind of. And uh, yeah, that'd be really cool. Get like a nice little island 
civilization going on here. I do have plans. Oh, hi, tree. I do have plans for underground, though. You'll have to wait and see about those ones, though, because I'm not going to spill the beans quite yet. So you better keep on watching if you, you know, you want to want to find out. That's that's how that works. Yup. Yeah, we got some diamonds here too, so that's cool. That means we're gonna have enough for a pickaxe and an enchantment table. This is great. And got ourselves five diamonds, plus the two we have upstairs. That's great. Might as well get this gold too. I think we got something going on here. So obviously not completely finished, but the starter part kind of looks all right. Like, uh, I got, still got to do the inside. Maybe do a few tweaks here and there, like uh, probably get some, whatchamacallit, lanterns and whatnot on either side here. Like, I think I got the things for them here. Like, where would I put them? Probably like right there. I think that's, no, that one's got to go up one more. One more, there we go. Get some lanterns on either side there. Yeah, that's already looking kind of better, honestly. I might even just uh, do like a bit like that there. That that might be good, yeah. Something like that, and then the lanterns could be hanging off there. That's kind of cool. It's getting dark, and yeah, gonna do the inside now. Well, that's that for now. I think this is a, uh, the style I got going on here is pretty all right. I think, uh, I'm not sure about the roof. I might switch out the roof. I'm not sure if I like the cobble or not, but uh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm thinking of like maybe getting something darker or something like uh, some uh, of that black stone that's in the nether kind of thing. That might work out pretty good for the roofs, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, this is going to be kind of the style that uh, happens all around here. I'm thinking uh, it, it'll obviously evolve a bit over time as we uh, practice and get better kind of thing. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Looking pretty good. And then uh, we got like our little entrance thing here on the side. I still have to, yeah, I'm going to obviously make some paths and whatnot here. But we go in here and this is temporarily a bedroom kind of thing. Um... Still got all my stuff in here that I need to move over, but then we go into here and storage galore. Lots of storage so that uh, we have places to put things because we're going to gather a lot of materials as we uh, need them to build more things. We got uh, all of our stuff over here. We got our stone cutter, our furnaces, our smokers, crafting table. Probably stick some uh, blast furnaces somewhere in here at some point. Uh, future ender chest. But yeah, lots of storage, lots of storage. That's uh, that's basically the focus on the starter base is just having a lot of storage because that's one thing that, uh, I don't know, I find I'm always lacking when I make my starter bases. I make like a few chests and then, yeah, then I don't have places to put things. All of a sudden I have chests dotted around everywhere. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking like, obviously we'll do like stones in here, probably dirts and uh gravels and whatnot and there sand and then the rest of this can be uh a bunch of other things because uh stones are the one that are we're gonna get most of kind of thing but yeah i'm thinking it's probably time to go to the nether we can go get some uh whatchamacallit some uh what are they what is it called uh, obsidian that's what it's called obsidian i'm thinking about putting the nether portal 
on that little island over there just to keep it away from here because when we do populate this with villagers, um, we want it far away. It might not stay there, but that's where it's going right now. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get on that. I'm going to get ready to go to the nether. We got our gold on here. We got some feather falling. Uh, respiration. I mean, that has nothing to do with the nether, but yeah, we'll make it work. All right, I've got all the stuff I need to go to the nether right now. I got my... Why am I doing that with an axe? I got my uh, obsidian here. I've got my gold that I'm going to use to barter with uh, piglins. I've got my cobblestone here. And I got all the tools. I've also got my gold armor. So that way the piglins do not get mad at me. That would be uh, not okay. That would be a pretty much a death sentence, obviously. But, no. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah. All right, first trip to the nether. Let's go. Hopefully, we're uh, in a good spot. Hopefully. Okay. You know, I'll take this. I'll take this. This is all right. <gasps> That's not all right. There we go. All right. I think that's good. Let's, uh, I guess I'm just going to explore. Like, I'm here to do a couple of things. I'm going to get myself some quartz. And, ooh, is that, uh, there's the warped forest back there. Okay, down through that hole. Nice. Come on. We're going to do some trading. I'm going to trade all this gold. And he's going to give me a bunch of things. Alright, I think we're good with mining quartz here. I know if you mine the gold too close to the piglins, they get mad. Oh, man. What? Dang! No! Piglins are going to be mad at me. I forgot gold armor. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. But I'm in, I'm in panic when I need my stuff. I need my stuff. It's probably gone. It's probably gone. This is probably a huge mistake going in like this. Please don't care. <gasps> they care. They care. They care. Oh man. Did I get kind of lucky? Uh. Gold boots? No, my gold boots. Anyways. I think our only hope for enchants, well, to do that again, obviously, but, uh, might have to find some sort of spawner or something. Like, I might go dig around down here. Like, do some of that off camera. Like, some of my branch mining and stuff. That'd be great. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm running out of time, though, unfortunately. Whoop, wrong button. Yeah. So, that's this. That's that. Soul Lands. It's back. It's great. It's lovely. Um... We tried our very best. We got ourselves a nice starter base, so that's cool. Uh, didn't meet our other goal by having enchants by this time, but if I had more time, I definitely would push for it, but I kind of need to edit this. Yes, I need, I need to do things, and there's other things I need to do as well. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for being here, though. If you want to see more of this, please make sure to like the video because obviously that's a visual representation of you liking this and it lets me know that you like it and algorithm stuff it's all the fun stuff uh check the links down below i have a discord you might like that social media fun stuff but most of all thank you very much for being here i truly appreciate it and i'll see you next time Bye bye